Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing a new moon energy reading for July 5th. Now a lot of times these new moon energy readings will be confirmation messages to confirm that we're on the right path or in the right space. The new moon on July 5th will be in the sign of Cancer. This placement will allow the space to get in tune with our emotions and how we're truly feeling about people, about places, and about things in our life. If there's been anything you've been holding back from saying out of fear or of someone's reaction, now is going to be the time to say it to get this off of your heart space. Okay. Now, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general, meaning they're not going to resonate every time for every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating for you, there's most likely going to be something in the message. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if you resonate with the messages, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here. It does help to set intentions for future messages. And if you do find it resonating, if you do find their helpful information, give it a thumbs up or a comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So let's dive right into Libra's energy for this upcoming new moon. Trying things a little bit differently for this reading. So we're going to pull the Oracle message first and see what the message is going to be about. Most important message here for Libra spirit. What do my Libra and friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. No place like home and come to the edge. Libra, this feels like an energy of accepting. It's like accepting where you're at, the position that you're in, in life, in general, in relationships. It's almost like a relaxed feeling. Now we'll see how this plays out into the message. But I definitely feel like it's like no longer a need to fit in. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the energy for Libra Spirit. What does Libra need to know in regards to the energy on July 5th? These are a lot of cards, so we're going to just check them out and put them back. I do feel like your perspective is shifting. There's a relationship here, Libra, that I feel like you have involved yourself with, and it's like maybe even getting ready to propose or getting ready to be proposed to. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. Six of coins, ten of coins, the ace of staff. So this is like equal give and take, reciprocity. It's like everything is happening for a very specific reason in your life. Everything has always happened for a very specific reason, even if you didn't always look at it like that. I feel like there's new beginnings, new blessings, new experiences that are coming in for you. I honestly feel like this is an energy of taking a relationship to the next level. So let's see how this all plays out into the reading here, Libra. We have what you're releasing at this time, what you're letting go of, the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Moon energy. I honestly feel like this is like trying to control with resistance. So whenever we're trying to get someone's attention and we pull back in order to get a reaction out of them, but maybe they don't react the way that we wanted them to, that we perceived that it would go, okay? There is a very special person in your life, Libra, that you have a very intense connection with and you're finally leaning into, maybe this is my person and taking this to the next level. I definitely feel like this is a relationship, so a proposal or an engagement. And maybe up to this point, there was a lot of confusion, there was a lot of uncertainty, but there's been some clarity or there will, will be some clarity that's gained through a conversation 
where either you or your person expresses how you feel, how they feel, okay? So this is going to be the advice guidance moving forward. We'll pull that over at the end. Taking this to the next level, guys. And, and for some of you, this includes like a proposal, um, a marriage, okay? So what you're releasing, the need to control. You're releasing the need to control and leaning into everything happens for a reason. This person is in my life for a reason and just enjoying this process. And through that process, realizing this is my person. Knight of Swords with the Sun energy. I feel like you have tried to get to this point for some time and maybe it was with another person that wasn't successful. A realization of like, everything happens for a reason. Again, finally able to relax into the present moment. Now, some of you have already come to that realization that this is your person. Some of you, this is about to happen. But again, leaning into that present energy is what's the key here. If you've been feeling like, you, and, and this isn't only the negative emotions, guys. Maybe you're needing to express gratitude. Maybe you're needing to tell this person thank you for always being there for me. Now, really quickly, Libra, before we get into the outcome and the advice, be mindful of the people that you let into your little world that you let in on the information because I do feel like there are people that have your back and that want to see you succeed. They want to see this relationship grow. There are also people that don't have the best intention, maybe don't like this person. So be mindful of those people and, and be mindful of what you tell them. Okay. Seven of cups, four of swords, the page of coins. There's a need to be strategic right now. There's also a need to express your feelings and maybe that's how you feel towards those people that don't have the best intention um, to get on the same page with your partner. Maybe this is showing appreciation for them always being there through thick and thin. Okay. So let's pull over the advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals for ritual kits for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. Justice, King of Cups, Three of Cups, the Temperance. Here's the thing. And, and I kind of hinted to this just previously before we flip these cards over this three of cups is symbolic of the pe your friends of community the people around you but when we pulled the three of cups up here in the challenge the page of swords came with it okay page of swords is like a sneaky spy card you need to be mindful of the people that you keep in your inner circle in particular water energy cancer pisces scorpio have patience with this process here, Libra, because I do feel like everything is balancing out. Everything is working in your favor. So everything is going to be fine. It's like you and this person are getting ready to integrate your lives with one another. So just be prepared for what's to come next. Okay. Again, confirmation and preparation is going to be the key. Let's pull out a soul truth message here to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Who can I serve today? In a world lacking soul to soul connection, small and simple acts are what create the biggest and most lasting impact. We shift our own pain and experience an avalanche of love when we lose ourselves in the service of others. Who needs you today? Today's soul action, listen to your heart. Who needs you? Make one soulful connection today and give solely to spread more love expecting nothing in return. Notice the joy that you feel when you serve others. Beautiful, beautiful. Libra, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope the message was helpful and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey friends. So I just wanted to come on and again, thank you for all the love and the support. 
on all of the platforms that I post all of this information on. I started a Patreon and OnlyFans. For those of you that want to support the channel to help to spread the information, um, to help my travels when I'm going to different events, to connect a little bit deeper on a more personal level with you guys. And so instead of just asking for donations, I thought I would put together a Patreon and an OnlyFans. And on those platforms, I'm posting sound baths and guided meditations. And every once in a while, I'm posting stuff about yoga, yoga positions, and I'm going to also record some yoga videos for you guys to be able to tap into. So if that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Again, it's Patreon and OnlyFans. Both of those platforms have a lot of similar content, but they're also going to have some different content as well. Follow whichever ever platform fills in alignment with what you need for your healing journey and don't be afraid to disconnect guys the purpose of this channel is for you to get the tools and the information that you need to heal and to move forward in a more positive direction the channel isn't meant for you to be here forever because i feel like once you heal you hopefully can tap into the healing modalities when you need um, and messages when you need, um, but, but not to be here for forever. So again, thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. And I look forward to connecting with your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.